All right, here I have a pretty scary algebra question, but it's actually not so bad. It's just algebra. Anyway, though, I got this question from the math D contest, and uh, this is from the year of 1999, and uh, it's this question right here. And let me tell you guys the question. Now we have this given equation, and we're going to find out what's 1 over a plus 1 over b. And you know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, so let me tell you guys the answer first. The answer to this question is negative 1. Yeah, that's it. Seriously, that's it. And you have a couple ways to do it. I will show you guys two ways. So I'm just going to write this equation again. So we have 1 over a times b plus 1, and then plus 1 over b times a plus 1, and then this is equal to 1 over a plus 1 times b plus 1. And I'm just going to, because we're looking for this, right? So let's just multiply everybody by b plus 1 and a plus 1. So a plus 1 and then b plus 1. So when we take this times that, the b plus 1 cancel, and we will have a plus 1 on the top over this. So a plus 1 over a. Similarly, this times that, the a plus 1 cancel, we will have b plus 1 over b, and then the right-hand side is just going to be 1 because both of them cancel out. Then we can just reduce it. So a over a, which is 1, and then 1 over a. And then this right here is 1, and then this is 1 over b, and this is equal to 1. Now check this out. 1 plus 1 is 2. Divide, I mean, subtract 2 on both sides. Yeah, so here you have it. 1 over a plus 1 over b. 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1, and we are done. So yeah, looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Especially, you know, for these kind of questions, you're not supposed to find out what a is or what b is individually. You just have to, need to, you just have to know how to work this out algebraically. Just do the algebra and then answer what the question is asking. That's all. All right? So... This is just the first way, and perhaps I'll show you guys another way to do it as well right here. All right, so this is what we can do. Let's go ahead and just combine the fractions. So multiply this by b and b, and multiply this by a and a. So we have, you know, we are looking for b plus a over a b. So this is what we want. And now we just have to find out this and that from the given equation. And for this right here, let's just multiply everybody by the common denominator, which is a and then b and then a plus 1 times b plus 1. Of course, that way it's cleaner, but like, just show you guys another approach. Anyway, though, if you take this, multiply by that, you will see that the a cancel and then this cancel. So we have b times a plus 1 for the first part. And then when we take that times this, we get this and that cancel. So we have a times b plus 1. Yeah, and then this times that, this will be just equal to AB. Cool. Now let's just combine. So here we have AB, and then plus B, and then this is plus AB, and then plus A, and this is equal to AB. And check this out. This is 2AB, and then we can just minus, let's, let's do this, minus AB, and then minus AB. So this and that cancel, and then we can bring this to the other side. And this is also cancel, so bring this to the other side. So we see that B plus A, in fact, is just equal to this right here to the other side, which is negative AB. Yeah. So if we come back here, then we see that B plus A, this is just nicely equal to negative AB. And negative AB divided by AB, we get negative 1, and then we are done. Yeah. So... Hmm, of course, I prefer the first way, and I think the second way is also pretty good. Uh, depends on how you like it, of course. But anyway, let me know if you have another approach to do this. If you want to see more math videos, check out the other videos right here.